when you're first getting into sailing it can all look a bit overwhelming i i agree i admit that when i started out it was very intimidating so i thought i'd answer a couple of questions beginners have and i had myself when i started just to get the edge off and show you that it isn't all that intimidating at all so remember it's just a tub with a piece of cloth in the wind when you boil it down right so the last question is very important for newbies. It's the most important for newbies, I think. Let's get at it. If you like these sailing tips, please consider subscribing to Improve Sailing. It's a new channel. Every subscriber counts and it really means a lot to me and to the whole team. And we're really trying to do things like this. So please support us. Give us a thumbs up. First question, where do I start? And that's a very good question. I didn't know, so I started Googling and I couldn't find all that many things. So I, I actually created a website called improvesailing.com and this channel is a subsidiary of that website. And we're really trying to help you get started and give you the information you need. So it can look like a lot, but you, you can really get going from your own home, from your lazy chair if you want to, if you know where to start. So where do you start? Start with free orientation on my website, this YouTube channel, but there's loads of other cool YouTube channels and websites out there. And I really recommend consuming the content and getting up to speed on what sailing is all about. How much money do I need? None. That's the short answer. You really don't need all that much money. Although sailing tends to have this very uh, expensive image, but it, it doesn't have to be. There are loads of free resources. You can start straight away right now, uh, digitally that is. If you invest your money smart, you can get a very decent sailing education, a basic education for about 500 bucks. And if you don't believe me, I did the math uh, and it's in this video with nine great ways to get started to learn how to sail for free. Do I need licenses to sail? Well, it depends. Most states you don't need any boating licenses, but you do need a safety uh, to do a safety course. This is mandatory in most states. There are eight states you don't have to have a safety um, certificate, but it's also recommended, right? If you want to get out on the water in a boat, it's just cool to know the basic safety stuff. So luckily you can get a simple safety certificate completely online at a couple of cool websites. It costs you about 50 bucks and I'll link to those websites down below. Go check them out, get up to speed and you're good to go. What do I need to wear sailing? Well, it really depends, right? On the area and the weather and what kind of sailing you're doing. But generally a good rule of thumb is to bring loads of good protective layers that are fast drying when they get wet. Also, also always bring dry clothes. Um, you want something like sun protection, like a hat or a cap. And it's also good to have some wind protection, like a jacket. My next point, the next question I get asked a lot is, what shoes should I wear when I'm sailing? And well, that's, it's not as straightforward. Obviously deck shoes, boat shoes of some sort, but what makes them deck shoes? Well. You want non-marking soles, and this is very important. So you don't want to leave any marks on the deck because it's very difficult to clean and you will really piss off the captain. So make sure that whatever sailing shoes you're wearing, one-time shoes, good deck shoes, make sure there are non-marking soles underneath. Light colors are always your best guess, uh, your safest bet in this uh, case. All right, so these are the important things for sailing shoes. You want good um, you want non-marking, you want good grip because the deck can get very slippery when it's wet. You want good protection for your feet from cold, from water, but also from breaking your toes on the on the deck, right? Because there's a lot of deck hardware and you want them to be quick drying if possible in that order. Those are the most important factors for sailing shoes. If you don't have deck shoes, you don't want to buy them. It's just a one-off trip. Get yourself 
your ordinary sneakers, your old sneakers, make sure the soles don't mark on the deck, that they're a bit, they're not dirty and sandy and stuff. Other good shoes are Adventure Water Shoes. I never use them, but you can get a, cup, uh, a pair for like 20 bucks. Uh, a, a lot of sailors recommend them if you do real intensive sailing or just sightseeing and day trips. And I'll link to a good pair in the description. How do you learn how to trim your sails the right way? Well, you do need a basic understanding of what's going on with the wind and lift. Uh, so some physics knowledge is recommended, but it's mostly an art form. So if you get the basics, you grasp the basics, it's all about practice and just trying out stuff and feeling the lines and feeling the wind working in the sails and just adjusting according to that. So sailing is more, more of an art and not so much a science once you grasp the basics. There's a, a, a lot to learn. There's a lot theoretically you can learn and understand, but it's more practical. So nothing beats getting out there and just um, holding the lines and tugging on the sails and feeling what it does. If I want to go sailing, do I need to learn all sorts of difficult knots? No, just start. Well, okay, if you, yeah, learn the bowline. If you learn the bowline, you're good. Do I need to know the sailing terms for first? No, just start. <laughs> a rope is a line. This is a line. Other than that, you're good. Look. If you're with snobs, they will look very mad at you if you call this a rope. I've been laughed at before, uh, mind you, but they, they understand you perfectly well. Trust me, just go out there, point at stuff and say, what's that? And you'll, you'll learn quick enough. Do I have to like fish? No, you don't actually. You can eat falafels on a sailboat. People eat falafels on a sailboat all the time. I eat canned beans most of the time and my friends because we're lazy not not a lot of people eat fresh catch when they're on a sailboat some do most of the vloggers do but you don't have to you can eat anything you like is sailing hard to learn no it's very easy to learn badly and if you can do it badly you can do it well and anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly first so you could get up to speed in one day. You could learn to sail in a small dinghy and catch wind and go the right direction in just a day doing it badly. So as with anything, it's hard to master it, to learn it very well, but don't let that hold you back from starting because starting is the essential ingredient of learning any craft well. So go after it. Oh, before I forget, do you have any questions that you want answering or that you have as a beginner or that you had when you were a beginner that were completely wrong misconceptions? Leave them in the comments below. I'm really eager to find out and perhaps you'll see your question featured in a future video. So on that note, I want to say take care and smooth sailing. What do I want to say? Ta-da!